get straight into it. Question number one. Are you a sellout? <laughs> and, and if so, what is your monthly salary that you receive from ZANU PF HQ? Eh, taka vakwe seoku, zaka naka In 1988, ndopandaka tanga politics zaun ku University of Zimbabwe ndichirwa against the one party state. Eh, 1990, ndika ndika garamo wawa prison for writing a constitution of the Zimbabwe Unity Movement. Mm. 1995, I tried to stop the presidential election at the age of 25, uh, because the electoral playing field was not even. Mm. 1997, I took the government to court over the political party's finances act 1998 uh, i was part of the group that formed the national constitutional assembly mm. and i was part of the group later that formed the mdc e tikafamba zvakanaka e ndikaita secretary for local government ndikazoita secretary for sector for uh, spokesman we mdc secretary general we mdc nyaye kunzi mutengesi yakazouya e tapedza E, pakabuda Supreme Court judgment. Mm -hmm. e, ndo vatanze ndai ku Congress. Ini ndo vandati handi ku Congress. Mm -hmm. Vamwe vangu vacha misa wangu wasi ndari kuenda ku Congress. Mm -hmm. Nekuti muna 2014 taka mwenda ku Congress ya Secretary General. Tika na ubanzura na ikoku. Mm -hmm. e, Iwa wakangawa ini ma nominations e, 11, ini nda handi ni 1. Mm. Dika ndoku jika ini 1,000 votes. Mm. Dika wanoa jika ini 859 votes. Mm -hmm. Saka ndofunga panga pa kuchikio tika nda ku Congress, pani jwa hizo buda ipapu. Right. So pataka itama disagreements iwa. Mm. Ndiyo pakataka unzi urum tenges, urum tenges. Mm. Batu katarisa leadership yangu. E top brass yangu ini. Haumbo wana kana munuwe zanu wani. Mm. Ukatasa top brass ya chamisa unona mafaire, unona jabunu, unona mm. e, shadrik mashaya mwombe, mm. jimu kunaka, unona mm. unaipapa. Mm. Recently kuna wana waka defector from opposition wachenda kuzano PF. 21. Pa wano 21 ipapa hapa. 20 waka waka party ya chamisa. Mm -hmm. e, ukatarisa inini maitira angu andira kumbo viranda tenge samu kaka wekwa kushungo mm -hmm. kana kutakura kana wita any business dealings doa nwe zaano asikune waka ita isoso mm -hmm. saka aneva nu varimu uwe zaano varimu leadership yake aneva nu uwe zaano vajinje waka wakwa hari vajizoka kumusha e, neaka mbo ita e, business dealings tie mtenges mm -hmm. but inini ndrikuti atichada politics zeku rova na zia zia mm -hmm. takuda politics zeku taurira na zwaka naka naka zeku rova Mm -hmm. Aikona kurova nani maoko. Linjani, linjani, magadi, magadi. Hello, hello. Today is Wednesday, the 8th of September, 2021. And today's watch list candidate is MDC founder and a well-known lawyer here in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Actually, he's a veteran, you know what I'm saying, from the Dumbuchena legacy. You know, if if you know, you know. Kadas, ana dumbu chena do anwanga chimani sanya ku justice. I think from our own personal view here is Super Cabral. Wa dumbu chena is one of the best jurists Zimbabwe has had ever since 1980. However, as again, today is Wednesday, the 8th of September. 2021 and today's watch list candidate is a mdc founder and a well-known lawyer mr douglas monzora the pragmatist the statesman the constitutionalist if there's one thing that this man would want to be known for when he dies would be that he was always and stood for constitutionalism now if you did not read or listen to our podcast, please go back to our podcast. We were talking about MDC and what MDC is. This individual is a social democrat to the T. When we were researching into this man, we then realized here at the Revolutionary Star that, ah, but when he talks about social democracy, this man espouses what social democracy is all about. Shout out out of the 15 interviews that we listened to when it came to Wa Munzora. The two that stood out were from uh, Trevor Ngube 
and Fatso, Comrade Fatso from Magamba TV. So we want to shout out to Magamba TV, Comrade Fatso, and shout out to the Trevor Ngube interview. Those were the two succinct interviews where people were dissecting the fluff and the fat and trying to figure out who the man is. And they tried to get close to who this man really was. We need to give a lot of shout out to Fatso and Mr. Ngube here because they don't look at politics, but they look at the man. So shout out to them. But those two interviews amongst a whole lot of other research that we did made us realize that this man is truly a social democrat. And unfortunately, that may be his, his Achilles heel. That may be what this man's Achilles heel is. But besides that, today we are going to talk about Ramon Zora. Not only because he's uh, on the public platform here politically, but he is a person you need to watch out for. He is a strategist and we need to talk about it. So we now talk about a man who was an MDC founder and is the current president of the Movement for Democratic Change T, MDC T, Mr. Douglas Monzoa. So you, 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 you are quite confident, Senator, that uh, principles, constitutionalism will win over the personality that is uh, Nelson Chamisa? I think personalities come very, 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 very um, um, far behind. Um, a, a revolution must be predicated on principles. Uh, it must not be predicated on personalities with their own infallibilities. So what, what we will uh, need to convince Zimbabweans is that they are safe with us. They are safe with us because we adhere to principle. And I dare say, uh, Trevor, that uh, I am yet to see a person who is as popular as Mugabe was in 1980. I think Mugabe was a very, very popular man in 1980. But he abandoned the constitution, he abandoned the principles, he abandoned the constitutionalism and the rule of law. And he died a bitter man, he died a miserable death, I think, uh, because he had messed it up. So what we need to do is we need to set the, 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 the foundation of a democratic Zimbabwe. The... So... Who is Mr. Douglas Munzora? Kadas. Ram Munzora is a lawyer, is a politician, also currently is a senator. He is currently the president of MDCT. He sideswiped uh, Tokozani Kupe in a strategic move. If there's one thing that we need to describe about this man is that he's a strategist. Now, having listened to the interviews that we listened about Mdara Owe, we now are starting to understand here yeah, the revolutionary start that this man is a strategist not because he is naturally smart no legally he's smart but he has depth this is a man who has depth and it made us here yeah, the revolutionary star realize that mdc has been messing up because they are reneging on the work that their elders did right the young turks in like most of these young guys that are actually running mdc right now we're taught by monzor again we are here talking from narukuma terrace aruona zizurukitika pa ground my comrades now if you are a zanu pf kada right now listening to this and you are thinking of switching off this podcast wakapusa you need to understand who your enemy is. Know thy enemy in order to understand thyself. This is things that Greeks have been teaching, teaching us from the time of Plato. Can I sing as Plato and Dian? Google, my comrades. Mazwana is in a good way in a good one degree. You can Google and open my answers. But know thyself. So back to Mr. Monzora. Mr. Monzora is a strategist, but from the research that we did, we then realized that the strategic 
manner in which he does his thing is not based because muna gangwar no he was a he is a baby of mugabe he is a 1980s baby went through the whole uh, free education system the whole nine years that we've been talking about in our previous podcasts but he picked a course and he stood that course he did not change that course he saw injustices and he truly believed in constitutionalism now could it be just him flossing and telling us that i believe in constitutionalism when he really doesn't believe in constitution constitutionalism i don't know but his track record numbers don't lie like jay-z said numbers don't lie this man has been consistently legalistic and it, it makes sense why he's legalistic while he was doing the legalistic uh, side of his life he actually d- began to gain depth as a politician strategically because he met people who were not lawyers but were astute in other things like emotional intelligence and so forth the tsangirais and he began to get depth this is how he became a strategic person this man is a tactician the more i talk to uh, other people here the more we are now starting to ask that we are going to actually have a subsequent podcast where we are going to research into morgan komichi because morgan komichi is the flip side of muzuri muzuri flip side of muzuri all of them are men who have depth but we do not know their history and if you hear it, Zanu PF think that you Pamata uh, pe MDC Chinja is a fucked up party understands them to understand yourself what they criticize are the weaknesses that you in your own party have in order for you to fix your weaknesses kada you need to understand kuti vari kumboti chi the way he articulates how his own party is saying Arimutengesi was i opening as a zanu pf member who sees how we handle mtengesi zanu pf has a history of handling watengesi from 1965 from the when ndp started zanu pf before zanu pf was even birth panga pa atoni strategy yokuita handle mtengesi but when you listen to an mdc individual explain it to you it's different So this is who Munzora is. He is a lawyer and we think he's a strategist, politician, senator right now, president of uh, the movement of democratic change T which he outplayed and outmaneuvered Tokozani Kupe. Right? He was a former secretary general of the MDC Alliance and then he lost to Carlton when they in 2019 Congress that was held in Gweru. He says that it's because it was rigged. It's funny how all of a sudden MDC says that my elections they done it were rigged. But anyway, that is a conversation for another podcast. For people must know that uh, it was Nelson Chamisa himself who first approached me and asked me to be secretary general. He was in the campaign of Job Sikala Uh, the late Tamsa Namashamu and, and uh, Amos Chibaya and Charlton Wende. These youngsters approached me and asked me to be Secretary General. I said, uh, but uh, uh, you, Nelson, I know you also want. And he assured me that he did not want. So I accepted their offer and I started uh, um, uh, campaigning. Unfortunately, a day before the nominations at uh, Uh, in, in Harare, I was then approached by Amos Chibaya who said I should drop from the rest because Nelson wanted to be the Secretary General. I then refused, of course, and I said we will meet at the Congress. Um, I won the first nomination in Harare. I think I won uh, by 700 votes to 100 votes. Uh, I beat him thoroughly there. But uh, unfortunately, the, um, that election was reversed. I don't know why it was reversed, but at that point in time, 
uh, coincidentally, I was facing criminal charges relating to public violence uh, that had happened in 2011. So I was unable to sit for most of the nominations. Uh, I lost a total of 11 nominations out of 12. But I kept on saying that I was going to get one nomination. And if I got one nomination, I was going to beat Nelson by 1,000 votes. Uh, sure, I then got my nomination in Manikalet. Um, and uh, I think that should have unseated Nelson a little bit. Uh, because he became so unsure. I could tell that he was unsure of himself. Uh, and we started a very interesting contest, I think, in the history of the party. Um, when we got to the actual election date, it was clear that uh, I had gained a lot of ground. Um, we went into that election. Um, but as the counting took place, I began regretting uh, uh, challenging him. Um, but uh, we, I then uh, found out that uh, I was winning. And uh, he left the room, he was, he was devastated. I asked for a stop, a stop in the counting so that people would attend to him. Um, and at that point in time, he had locked himself uh, in his car. Uh, I felt sorry for him. He, he, he was, as far as I'm concerned, I was concerned, my young brother who was not taking defeat lightly. Uh, I felt sorry for him. I felt that he had to be attended to, uh, and they did attend to him. Um, and after that, I talked to Morgan Changirai that he should be appointed in the national executive. He was appointed um, secretary for policy. So uh, that was our contest in 2014. Mdara Munzora attended Goromonzi High School. He is from that class. I mean, not Goromonzi, I would say, I can go out and say, I'm mad. You know, Tiny Pera, you know, Makada, Kuti Fletcher, do I would say, I'm Or maybe we need to do a podcast so that we can find out, Kuti, what were the metrics whereby Fletcher, St. Ignatius, Goromonzi, and so forth were producing my top notch people. Because Monzora was at Goromonzi, BT was at Goromonzi. We don't like BT. BT is too much of a globalist. But Mdara Gangwara, BT is smart. So we have to give BT where his credit is due. But Goromonzi, I would say, top quality people. So Monzora attended Goromonzi, then he went on to uh, graduate from the University of Zimbabwe. These are children that were birthed from Mugabe policies. As much as Monzora has staked his career on Robert Gabriel Mugabe, he is who he is because of Robert Gabriel Mugabe. Right? The way he criticizes R.I.G. Mugabe in his interviews about constitutionalism is based on the education that Mugabe gave him. Vanava <laughs> Mugabe. It's, it's, it's so ironical. But this is the quality of the individuals that we have because when you listen to him, you start realizing how much the 1980s, uh, Mawo veterans Edu had an understanding of what they needed to do. Yes. Zanu PF messed up on certain things, but on the education aspect, they were 110 percent correct. So yeah, Vamunzora went on to Goromonzi High School. Then he went to University of Zimbabwe. He's got two kids. He's got Bertha and Isabel. We went just uh, girls only. He was in the GNU, of course. He is publicly said that he was very disappointed that. Um, uh, he, he never got, uh, he's an ambitious man. Very ambitious. Right? Before he was in MDC, he formed, uh, uh no, apologies. He did not form. In his, uh, younger days as a student, he was in Zoom. Before, after Zoom, he was in the Patriotic Front as well. Zoom was for Tekere. Patriotic Front was, uh, Patriotic Front. We can't remember the, the leader of Patriotic Front, but him and Shangirai were in the Patriotic Front at the time. Right? After that, there was uh, NEC, uh, any NH, NCA was there until we get to where MTC is formed. This is who Dr. Douglas Monzara was. He's been 
integral to who MDC have been for a while. Well, Nelson Chamisa was challenged by the organizing sector for Gobe District, uh, Elias Mashawira, uh, because Mashawira was arguing that the manner that he had taken power was contrary to our constitution. It was in breach of clause uh, 9.2, 1.1 of our constitution, which says that if a president dies or resigns or is in any way incapacitated, his replacement is chosen through an extraordinary congress. And Nelson Chamisa and company refused to have the extraordinary congress, uh, despite my advice to him and the advice by advocate Eric Martininga to him and, and, and the other leaders, he refused to hold the extraordinary congress. Even after the election, I approached him and said, let's have the extraordinary congress. He believed that I wanted this extraordinary congress because it would involve the, it would involve the 2014 structures. And in all probability, I would beat him. Uh, I think that was his uh, suspicion. He refused to go for uh, the extraordinary congress. I warned him that uh, Mashawira would win his case. Um, again, he was advised otherwise, um, but uh, history was to prove me right. We are not going to give you the whole spiel on his history. Not because he's, it's not important. It's because it's readily available. This man has been touting his history from here till kingdom come. Saga Isus here, the revolutionary Sataka Garapasi. Takataka Kukuze, history of Munzora. We will do you an injustice. We are going to look at the man. As we are talking to you right now, he's actually released his shadow government. Right? Chamisa has started to release his shadow government. Tichitaura nemi is his comments. Asad. Why are we mentioning this? I know right now, Baraka Shiveku Zanu PF and everybody is attacking uh, Nelson Chamisa and beating him as a dead horse. Nelson Chamisa is charismatic, but Anama ideas, he has no substance. But he is still charismatic. You cannot discount a charismatic man. Monzora is more dangerous than Nelson Chamisa because Monzora can create a new generation of politician that will be detrimental to Zanubia. Right now, I can tell you, my comrade, good Mdara Monzora. He knows he's not going to be the president of Zimbabwe. He may want to be, but he knows he's not going to be the, the, the president of Zimbabwe. He's looking at longevity, long term. When you hear a man in every interview talk about constitutionalism, this is a person who talks long term. His legacy is the constitution of Zimbabwe that was signed in 2013. The constitution we use right now. Legacy at Yamunzora is maintaining this constitution for kingdom come. Mudara Oya levels in Afghanistan and the US at Taitaura. If you have not yet listened to our podcast when we talk about how Americans think 50 to 100 years in advance, then please go listen to that podcast because this man here right now thinks like that on an individual basis. He wants this constitution to remain in place. Yes, amend it. But don't change it. His biggest honor was when Changirai called him and told him, Kuti, and government, but I want you to go to Kopak and lead into the negotiations for a constitution for Zimbabwe. Think about that, comrades. This is who we are talking about. This is Monzo, a pragmatist. This man is a pragmatist to the T. Very strategic. But the strategic side of Monzora, from the way we have been understanding, comes from hanging out with other politicians. This man is an intellectual, through and through. He does not have a political board. I really do not think this man has a political board. I have not seen him personally, but if you listen to his interviews, you listen to the way he's not liked by people on the ground here in Zimbabwe, 
generally speaking, unless it's in party structures, you get to understand that he's a good manager. This man is a good manager. He's good at organization. He's good at getting things done, but he's just not liked. Afarirwe. Asimuni yeo kuti unokwanza kumadoro nae. Asimuni we scared. I would love to drink a beer with Nelson Chamisa. I would love to have a drink with Chamisa. I would love to have a drink with E.D. Mnangagwa. I would not want to have a drink with Chiwenga. I would not want to have a drink with Monzoa. Why? Because these are serious minded people. Do not discount the person just because he's not likable. Again, we as Zimbabweans are not yet privy to what it means to be a voter. At that time, he's here. But he's not a likable person. That's one thing we've, we've realized here at the Revolutionary Star. The intellectualism is there. But the depth that this man shows from our own perspective probably comes from hanging out with veterans. If you were in the presence of Anna uh, Masipula Sichole, uh, Edgar Tekere, Changirai. Changirai came later. He talks about Sanyati Room. And he was in the same room with Changirai, but they had been called by Muzorewa to form the Patriotic Front. That says something. A lot of MDC people don't even know that Changirai was Zanu PF. You know, Changirai was Zanu PF. Angar Kuwekas Union. I want to workers union with Agar Aizwa. It was Mugabe who was pushing him up through uh, workers union. Paga Zoshika ku ZCTU, that's when he blew up. Most civil servants, top civil servants who were Zanu PF knew him through ZCTU. He was a very likable in- individual. But Munzora is the one who ends up come up and tells us in his interviews that he was very strategic. He had that emotional intelligence. Our education system in Zimbabwe has not yet understood what, how to even gauge with emotional intelligence. Like Amira say, we have an, uh, Kandoro at propaganda. We are continuously trying to tell you, Guti, why are you not monetizing, uh, arts, the emotional intelligence? That's another podcast. Shout out to Kandoro. But here you have it. This is who we are talking about. It's a Munzora who, is currently the MDCT. How the hell did this guy outmaneuver Chamisa twice now? He's outmaneuver Chamisa. And people keep going to the easiest lower hanging fruit. Kuti Zanu PF helped him. Zanu PF doesn't help anybody who can't help themselves. How the hell would Zanu PF just come from nowhere and say, Kuti, Suspect! But something that is true my comrades. We formed the Forum Party, uh, and the funny thing is that uh, on the day of the formation of the party, the discussion of the formation of the, of the Forum Party, um, it was a Sanyati, it was Sanyati room, Jameson Hotel. Mm-hmm. Morgan Changere was actually there, Alois Masepe, Masipula Stole. We were later joined by David Coltart um, and Teba Jojo. Uh, these were the guys from the Open Forum uh, in Blawayo. Uh, we went under... Uh, Justice to Buchena, former Justice, Chief Justice to Buchena, and we had a number of people from Matebele and the region. Uh, Sipo Magonya is one of them, Agripa Magela is one of them, um, uh, and from Mashona we had the, the late Christopher Diwa, um, Isaac Manyemba, Aris Masepe, and Masipula Stone. Again, this was in order to bring constitutionalism in our country. We also did not want the one party state, whether de jure or de facto. So we formed the Forum Party and I became the National uh, Secretary for Information and Publicity. I was elected at a place called McDonald Hall in Bulawayo. Um, and we were the only two of us were elected and opposed. That is uh, the late Dr. Bucena and myself. Mm. So for the first time in Zimbabwe's history, we have a president who is talking about dialogue 
Here's the funny thing. And here's what I don't understand, Cutters. When we're talking about this individual, again, we are not really going to go into the details about his life history because you can Google it up. This man is easily accessible as an opposition leader. Surprisingly easily accessible. He's done an interview with Magamba. He's, he, of course, he's doing interviews with ZTN. He's doing interviews with Trevor Ngube. This guy is easily accessible. So this watch list is not here to tell you about History am Daram Zorewa. He wants to tell you his life story. So he's easily accessible. What we are more surprised about is how does this Mudara outmaneuver these guys? He has been painted a brush that is a Muzorewa. <laughs> this guy actually worked with Muzorewa. He wrote the constitution for Muzorewa after Muzorewa got bailed. He wrote the constitution for Zoom. Okay. He was a kid back then. Let's give him... He was a kid. This guy has been in the trenches, comrades. Trenches. He understands things. Okay, so fine. Let's say he's not a politician. But he's put the work in. He's put the grind in. He's done the actual work to get shit done. So what are we talking about right now? We're talking about a person who, naturally speaking, is a lawyer. Ainda Kuchikoro. Mugabe time, my 1980s, Kogutika wawana degree wawana degree. What happens after he gets that degree? He starts practicing law. He gets fired for different type of reasons. Of course, he spins it. He makes it sound like, yeah, Nagazo fired. It doesn't matter what he got fired for. But while he's getting and working through the legal system, he's putting in his work. He's meeting people. These people are actually fine-tuning his political acumen until who we have right now. We have a man who I think knows he is not really that capable as a politician. He doesn't have the charisma. He's seen as a snake. He's a behind-the-scenes guy. But he gets the job done. We really think this guy is good at organizational development. So far, all the records seem to show that Monzora seems to be good at organization. But he had a team. There is no way a man like that can get to a level like that without a team. This is why here yeah, the revolutionary style, we are now thinking we need to let you guys know who Morgan Komichi really is, who Mozuri is. Besides Mozuri and Komichi, we were Sikala. We need to understand these people. Skala was a student of uh, Munzora. Tabani Mpofu, the guy who did uh, uh, Chamisa's uh, paper, I mean Chamisa's appeal at the uh, Supreme Court, student of Munzora as well. Amana muno tanga kuderera muna aizidi savanu aji wakazo manjira kuita wetema president. Something is not adding up, comrades. Something is not adding up. This person is a constitutionalist, first and foremost. And he's a social democrat. Please go back to our MDC podcast. This guy really believes in social democracy. He's ushering in right now open dialogue. But open dialogue, if you are in ZANU-PF person, take it with a pinch of salt because it's couched with things that will affect us as a party. In the next 50 years, if you're not careful. Amusha nise muna kada iso. Mwanzora asi muna anusha nisika. Because he realizes, just like Steve Blinken. When we did the Steve Blinken uh, watch list, please go back to that one. It's about his legacy. Mudara uyaka tu gazira legacy pa aga gazira 2013 constitution. Right now, the only thing that he needs to do is just to maintain the 2013 constitution. What does that mean? It means right now he knows that he's not going to be the president and he's not going to win an election 2023. 2023, he knows he's not going to become president. So, while everybody is saying, I got you. Aruku Batres wana Idi Mnangagwa. Mnangagwa is using him until 2023. You really, are you really going to discount this man just because of that? After all the amount of work he's put in, 
to MDC. Come on, Dow. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. These people were tortured. They went to Wawa prison. How many of us right now who are listening to this podcast have ever been locked up? How many have been locked up? Can I come know one day which group? I was sorry, sorry, sorry. Ngadi mozi chigurubi, ngadi bise chigurubi. Kumbo loko up in your local neighborhood police station. I was locked up in my local neighborhood police station. It was very unbearable. I, as a revolutionary, was locked up. This man went to Wawa prison. Just say. Hey, just say. The first thing is that uh, I was fired by AJ Peck and, and, uh, and partners uh, because I had spoken against what I thought was racism. Uh, I then joined uh, Garbage Unions and Associates and then I was snatched by Munyarazi Paul Mangwana in, in Kadoma. But w- while Mangwana was away, he left me in charge of the legal firm. And it was that time that I was approached by Bishop Musorewa, the former Prime Minister, asking me to challenge the constitutionality of the Political Parties Finances Act. Uh, I accepted the brief and I prepared the papers without the knowledge of Honorable Mangwana. Uh, and I filed the papers in the Supreme Court. Um, he got to know about it and that his firm was representing uh, an opposition political party. Um, I lost my job as a result. Um, he had asked me to drop the case as, um, in return of returning my job. Uh, I refused. I insisted that I wanted to argue the case. I eventually then went to Mashingo to open my, my law firm. Fortunately, the client followed me there. Uh, we were able to prosecute the case in the Supreme Court. And on the 30th of September 1997, we won that case in the Supreme Court. Um, this is the case where um, the political parties with a, a certain number of seats in Parliament get funding from the state. And I'm happy to say that the MDC, since its formation, has been getting fa- fa- finance from the government. This is because of the case that we won in the Supreme Court in 1997. So, at the end of the day, what are we saying about Comrade uh... Not comrade, apologize. He's a patriot. We acknowledge he's a patriot by the power of comrade. I think it was he's a constitutionalist, he's a pan Africanist, we acknowledge him as a as a comrade. However, here the revolutionary star, at the end of the day, we are pro Zanubia. We do realize that you need to recognize game where game is. We prefer a comrade who is MDC but does not champion sanctions. Tafana na yu wakangofa na nani nini like Zoom. I have no not, nothing wrong with Zoom that I can criticize. But going back to Monzora comrade, why am I mentioning him? You need to understand these men. This guy has been against ZANU PF since he left the university he birthed the current leadership we are struggling against right now as a party why is this important it is important because he is still level-headed enough to maintain the course that Sangira and his fellow people had he actually understands that it was bigger than Sangira they did you know what comrades one waka gwada misa zanu pfa take it failed to do that muzore wa failed to do that unkomo muna ka a national holiday who managed to actually the closest that unkomo got ku gwada misa zanu was actually being amalgamated with zanu pfa Team Yamunzor actually did the impossible and actually got a GNU and had one of their own leaders who had nothing to do with ZANU PF. 
become a prime minister. Ah, gentlemen. Son, no God's people, but no. And when you listen to him, if you've never listened to Monzora, go to his interviews. It's there. It's public record, comrades. This guy had been doing this from back in the day. You know, freedom of speech, chi chi chi. This man knows that he's never going to get the credit right now. He knows this. The credit is maybe when he's long dead, 100 years from now. He's looking at his legacy. Constitution, it needs to stay in place. Constitutionalism. Then the mistakes that his own students are making anacha misa nana sikal that they are making nana mpof kumanya speed instead of following social democratic principles that mdc stands for mdc stands for this unlike zanu pf zanu pf is a revolutionary party we hold different standards saka zino nzwisi sika ka kara but these guys are breaking their own rules as social democrats. We don't want to say funding from Denmark. You need to break my rules and my social democratic principles. And that's what uh, Chamisa has been doing. Even though as charismatic as he is, he's been making those mistakes. But he is an internationalist. As smart as he is, this man. He believes the only way to save Zimbabwe is through international help. IMF, World Bank, kissing America's ass. That is it. If it means selling and mortgaging Zimbabwe, so be it. We lose a generation or two generations, but after that, the country will be back off and the ledgers will be balanced. All these guys are looking at their legacies because they are very smart persons. Van Wawangwar. So when you are a revolutionary, you realize that you are dealing with people who Mugabe taught to be smarter than you. Yeah, the revolutionary star, we are not as smart as these people. That's why we talk about them. Every individual we talk about here, yeah, the revolutionary star, is smarter than us. If it's not emotional intelligence, it's uh, monetary intelligence or intellectual intelligence. Dusaka tichwa bigger. This man is an intellectual, strategic, and all these other depth things. Arazwana, Arazwana, Nukuti was hanging out and he was soaking intelligence. He like a sponge until he's got to this level where he can outmaneuver his fellow politicians. And if Zanu PF is not careful and they cannot see what this man is capable of, they can be also outmaneuvered by the annals of history. Open discourse, open dialogue. Monzora so far has been doing what President E. Dimunangagwa has been not been capable to connect with people. Comrade Dimunangagwa has been trying to connect to the local voter that he is serious about open dialogue. But people don't believe him. Monzora people believe him. He just did a shadow government. People believe him. But they've been discounting him. Unlike Munangagwa, where people think it's a political trick. No, it's not. Munangagwa hasn't been doing a political trick. He actually means it. Open dialogue. Criticize me. This man has been defeated several times. He has got a very thick skin. But people don't believe that. What are we trying to say? We are in a generation of tough politicians. And people don't realize that. These people have gone through shit through Mugabe. If there's one thing that Mugabe left as a legacy to the current politicians that we have here in Zimbabwe is that they are very thick-skinned politicians. The Chamisas have a long way to go. It's not a race. It's not a matter. It's not a a, a 100-mile dash. It's a marathon. You can't beat these guys who are Kwidubukaka one. No, you don't. And this is what Munzara is. So why are we telling you this, comrades and cadres? This man, why we have put him on the watch list, is not because he's a MDC president. 
it is the way he maneuvered his way around the situation to become the MDC president. He used his intelligence as a lawyer and the political maturity and dexterity that he had learned ever since he came into politics. Did Zanupiev have something to do with it? He says no. He explains succinctly how Zanupiev had nothing to do with it. Is it true? That's your word against ours. We don't know. I think that's it. But what we do know is that this person has managed to gain control of MDCT away from Togo Zanikup and Aramu Polad. And he's currently sitting right now at Harvest House. He says it is that this podcast, Harvest House, belongs to Monzo, is the current president of MDCT. Uh, comrade. Yeah, comrade. Mm. Uh, look, looking at the analogy, yeah, Bora, mm. uh, MDC Alliance is not a political party. Mm-hmm. It is a group of political parties formed in terms of an alliance agreement mm-hmm. signed on the 5th of August uh, in 2017. Uh, and, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Morgan Changre was still there. So it has seven political parties. One of these political parties is called the MDCT. Mm-hmm. That was the MDC that was headed by Changrai. Then it was headed by uh, 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 Chamisa. Mm-hmm. Now, this alliance agreement says that whoever is the leader of the MDCT is the leader of the alliance, the MDC alliance, mm-hmm. the group of seven political parties. So, Kurekubora, mm-hmm. MDCT, Dio Dimbare, mm-hmm. MDC alliance is Zifa. Saka Avara could Zifa e team, Quete, Zifa is a team. But in Temu Reporti, Kana MDC, Kana Uri President, we MDCT. Ipso fact, by that fact, you are a leader of the MDC alliance because the MDCT was the majority shareholder in the alliance. Mm-hmm. It is more in members of parliament. Now, the court says go to the Congress. Comrade Jamisa decided not to go to the Congress. Mm. I braved it out. I went to the Congress and I won the Congress. Mm. So I am the leader or leader of the MDCT. Mm. And by that fact, the leader of the MDC Alliance. Zimbabwean politics is only going to get interesting from here on out. From 2021. This watch list that we are doing right now. Ah, things are getting interesting. So shadow government was announced by Munzora recently. And this shadow government has got several MPs that were put in the shadow government that are attacking key people in MDC Alliance, Ya Chamisa. Chamisa is trying to convert his party into CCC, change conversion, change, citizens change conversion, convergence. That's what he's trying to name it. CCC change con, citizens change conversions. But it's just an acronym or it's a pseudonym for or an alter ego for Chamisa Chete Chet. Already, that's already causing problems with this party. They are trying to evolve as a party because legally, because MDC Alliance here Chamisa right now legally is made up of lawyers, which is why they've been withdrawing cases. And that's when you can see with the media is a little bit biased, Ibab, because they're not covering the wrangling that's going on. Daily News has started covering it because it's getting too bad. Pedzisai Ruanya has started actually criticizing them. As we are speaking right now to Chiyita, this podcast, right? Last week or two weeks ago, they were trying to suspend or get rid of Ostala Sizawa, a youth leader. And people are saying it's because Carlton Wendy is against him. So I'm just trying to explain to you Guti Warbama one. Naming a party Chamisa Chiti Chiti is a... and here's where I feel so sorry for Fadzai Maeri. Fadzai Maeri is another person we're going to put and talk about here on the watch. She made a blunder. She made a blunder. But she is still a person we need to take control. Mount Pleasant should be yes. But 
unfortunately uh, i don't see that happening and on whatsapp right now virally speaking most people have been trying to give the advice to mdc that the strong candidates who always win in urban areas should relieve their positions and go to the rural areas because it's easy for an mdc person to gain power in harare but in zanu pf you start and you you cut your teeth in urban areas because you're going to probably lose and then you move to the rural areas why make a cloud why it raise money why it run an organization mdc is not learning mdc is not learning this Monzora, on the other hand, Kata is, is a different animal. Muna Akato Mborwisa Mugabe. There is no other politicians who can talk about Nini Ndaka Rwisa Mugabe. The only person he can have stories with right now is Mnangagwa in Zanupiev. It may look as if he's against Zanupiev, but it's not that. Zanupiev tortured Monzora. But his legacies are based on Zanupiev. So why are we saying this here, the revolutionaries? We are saying this because likely this man knows he's not going to win presidency 2023. When we really don't think he's looking to be the next president of Zimbabwe. He wants to make sure he galvanizes his party. As long as his party maintains enough seats in parliament, he will be happy. He wants to maintain as the opposition leader. That's what he wants. Zimbabwe says, "Is this a mruku furirani?" Hey, hey, Monzora. Chamisa made a mistake. Chamisa forsake his own, forsook his own party for his win as an executive. Monzora is not going to make that mistake. Monzora wants his party in power. He wants to pick the next elected official who is going to run against. Whoever Zanu PF puts as a candidate after 2023, why are we saying this? We all know that all re- all roads lead to the army and the security forces. Warfare are dying by 2023. Pandeng bas cinema warfare. After 2023, think it out to our about all collaborators. Right? After all collaborators, think it out to our Lana, Lima, Wolf, Vesema, all collaborators. Munzora is thinking in those terms. Where are you thinking, Kata? Understand this, man. He is going to get back with Chamisa. Chamisa lost his way. Chamisa is still a very dangerous threat. Anga Furiro. Chamisa works with Zanu PF. Chamisa does business with Zanu PF. As a lawyer, most of his business, he got it from Zanu PF. Chamisa worked with Munanga Wakuzua. He worked with uh, Mugabe Ku Omega, running their legal cases. We were his done that as well. So, You need to understand that these politicians at the end of the day, they work with ZANU PF. It's just how they tell the rest of the world whether or not it's true. But anyway, we are getting too out of topic here. This man is the current MDC president and his name is Monzora Monzora. Douglas Monzora. Two kids who are both daughters. Bertha is the one who is really out there on Twitter. Shout out to Bertha. We follow you. You don't know who we are, but we do follow you. He is a strategist. Why are we telling you this? Whether or not he wins 2023, he is grooming people as we speak. Every person we talk about here at the watch list is grooming future leaders. It's not about the individual. The individual may never get to the goals that they wanted to get to. But they are leaders in their own field. This man is a leader, but he has a depth that is very unusual. 
very very unusual he got it from being in the trenches against mugabe there is nobody in zanu pf who can understand this man besides the old guard so we are talking about the old guard is in the mugabe i mean the uh, president ed munangagwa chiwenga and people who are no longer in power anamutas chinamasa maybe right these guys were the ones why one is zanu pf moto because we wanna touch up a genu they th- this man thinks differently from the politics that we're going on right now what does this mean it means that he's not looking at it as in just becoming president you know Zikuti, this is a marathon he's not going to be here to see the fruition of his 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 gains which is why you see ana betha mwana wake achitotanga kuti ukura izvezvo ana kuti zviya kuti mudara legacy ya mudara inopana ipo mudara we akanyora constitution kama comrades constitution haina kunyorwa ne zanu pf yakanyorwa ne an amalgamation of two political parties whether you like it or not the munzora family is royal bt his family will be royal bt whether or not you hate him or you love him his kid is going to be royal mwana wa changirai right now he is got a son and only vincent changirai are currently as we speaking an mp so let's start all we are saying is that watch this man my comrades he's a strategist he's a tactician but that strategist and tactician is very dangerous because it's based on experience Uh, he's a natural intelligence he's naturally an intellectual based on his law he's a, like a maduko but he's been hanging around politicians for so long that he now thinks like them ya maso memory ya no sandisa that is makes him dangerous when it comes to the way he strategizes and he makes decisions on tactics so this is who we are talking about it's monzora You will hear us talking about him more and more as we come in. If we need to update the watch list, we will. But compared to Chamisa, this man is deep. But I have a charisma, yeah, Chamisa. Chamisa is the charisma. If only Chamisa had just been patient. Chamisa just had to be patient. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. But it's the same thing. I'm not going to say anything. But... BT we understand because BT is pompous he's got an ego so we understand and he's an internationalist in a perfect world BT should have been the UN ambassador from Zimbabwe on the permanent assignment if it was a perfect world and we had a situation where both opposition and the ruling party were working hand in hand we would have seen a BT become a United Nations Uh, ambassador he would be he would make the perfect diplomat but we were so far most of the leaders that we have now from opposition were born before their time we only hope that they are teaching their youth to be the embodiment of who they are for the future But the Zanu PF cadres or a revolutionary cadres you need to watch out for these people. Why? Because their values are not imbued in revolutionary ethos. They are imbued on western policies. These are social democrats. Their principles are imbued in a western way of thinking. Abna hondo. Abana chivanu. Mune vana. This is the difference. We respect these people they are intellectuals and everything but amuna chivano hapana chia cha chino dzikamisa munhu kuti chi mwana wevu Never forget that We still need these people to help us groom our country so that together we become a country but know your enemy to know thyself Munzora don't discount him The more our elders die the stronger these people become if we do not adjust to think 
on an intellectual basis such as these people chivano chedu traditional yedu my values edu will only get us so far this has been comrade super cabra signing out roger already hinted that there are some people who are accusing you of being used by Zanu PF to divide the opposition and i'm saying they that allegation is not held by the fact that there's a perception that the military and the police helped you to take over the Morgan Tsangirai house how do you respond to that well thank you very much for that question Trevor um uh, the takeover of Harvey's house was actually done by three youngsters um and it was done as a result of the plan that uh, we conceived um it was done at 5 uh, pm uh, it was still daytime um we had taken uh, about a month planning this uh, we planned it well and the youngsters took over um and when they took over the three of them they then invited the other half to make it 15 this was again according to plan Um after uh, I'm sorry this is after I had asked Nelson Chamisa and Charles Mwende to give us the administration of the Morgan Chagrai house they had promised that there would be bloodshed they had said that there would be uh, a blood bath and so on and I told them that the moment the, the time we take up this house it will be so smooth it was well done it was well executed the police were not involved the police only got involved after we had taken over harvest house 3 hours after we had taken over harvest house so not not 3 not 3 hours more than 3 hours because they came at half past 10 mm. and this was in response to child on wende who had come with 45 people who were trying to break into harvest house and the police then came uh, to to stop that vandalism that is how the police were involved on all the night of the fall uh, but as the as, as as the alliance people were trying to forcibly get into other stuffs i was at home drafting a peace order and at 8 o'clock in the following morning i appeared before the magistrate applied the applying for a peace order and an interdict i was granted that peace order and interdict and that peace order said that the alliance people were no longer allowed to be at Harvest House and that the police should ensure that the law and order was maintained. So the presence of the police at that point in time was in, re- was in reaction to a peace order. Now, this was a political fight, uh, Trevor, and when people are outmaneuvered uh, in a political fight, they resort to all sorts of name calling. This was first class maneuvering of a political opponent i think it was smart i think it was cleverly done and i also think that the youngsters who did it did it so well and, and if i can let you into a secret Absolutely. that one of the enticements uh, uh one of the instruments that we used was a mini mill mm. i see so it, it, somebody was asked to go and buy a mini mill and and they left the gun and you took over the the, 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 the party yes 